You know, I may have been wrong. Let me explain. Now, you say, well, Jeff, you just had a video the other day about getting hay for your goats. I said, oh, this hay probably lasts me for a month. I was wrong. Now, the hay that I'm getting this year is real good hay. It's real quality, real good quality fescue hay. Um, in the past, I've noticed that fescue has a lot of um, stem, you know, the seed stems and, and stuff that goats don't particularly find attractive for eating. But now this year, oh, it's a whole different story, man. I mean, we're getting some good quality forage in the hay for the goats. So, I'm sorry, I got that brace in the film, in the, in the frame. So they're doing an excellent job on eating it. Very, very little waste. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna venture to guess that they're probably eating at least 85% of the hay that I'm putting out in my world famous, soon to be patented under the name of Jeff Eubanks, IBC Hay Feeders. IBC tote hay feeders. Now I do have to go down there with my pitchfork and um, after the first day, load what they've kind of spilled out onto the ground back in. But I mean, they're doing an outstanding job consuming. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, uh, not this point that at all. They've, uh, they're doing real good. In the past, I've, like I said, I found that um, Bermuda hay, him goes to lick the ground to eat Bermuda hay, but uh, it's a little bit more expensive. And and in the Bermuda hay, I've never gotten the benefit of a seed uh, store, uh, seed envelope, uh, reseeding type of issues that I can get with the fescue. Now, my first, uh, I went to a different place today. You'll you'll see a little clip of that. Um, Now, that last load of hay, I said, oh, this lasts me for a month. I may have been wrong. May have been wrong. But they were kind of light, light bales. They weren't really heavy, well-packed ones. So I've come over here today to another spot. Again, seed and seed. I'm gonna get me some fescue. Looks like they got enough to get me in good shape with my goats. There we go. My first, um, Sam Hill, oh, a big old dump truck. You'll see him come by in just a minute. <clears throat> My first, um, uh, okay, he gone. At first glance, I'm not seeing the amount of seed heads in this particular batch of hay that I saw in the first one, and that's okay. I mean, I am seeing some. Here and here, so there is there's still going to be the benefit of some seed from this hay, but uh, even beyond that, though, just that hay hitting the ground, decomposing, and uh, you know, adding to the the nutrients of the, the ground that, that's good enough. So, anyhow, uh, nine dollars bill that's what you pay for, yeah, nine dollars bill. And uh, hey, it's got to gotta be done. Those goats, you know, folks say they'll eat 10 cans. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now they'll lick or chew on just about anything, but for them to survive, it's gotta be some type of vegetation. So I thought I'd just jump on here and see that little uh, uh, tie in where I said I, I, I may have been wrong. It's, it's, you know, folks, it's happened so infrequently in my life. I just don't know what it feels like to be wrong. I mean, who else out there has that problem? I know my wife, she's never wrong. I mean, never. And I've known her like 90 years. Anyway, so there may be more to come. You just can't ever tell here on the farm. 
Okay, I see that as almost an inch and a quarter of rain. And the goats are out here grazing on hay that's got an inch and a quarter of rain on it. Now you see how they when they pull it out, you know, you know, some of they don't get it all in their mouth. So that's where I go back out there now with the uh, pitchfork and reload that that's in the uh, it's on the bed of the uh, feeder. Right there. And right there. I'm telling you, it's a win-win situation. Oh, look, my shadow. All right, so, I just, this was, I just moved the, the two feeders that is what was left from where I reloaded it last night. So, I mean, like I said, they're doing a good job eating hay. If I was just throwing this hay out on the ground, oh Lord, the waste that there would be. And two, I've actually loaded this thing up. What was it? last week uh, last weekend i think we got about an inch of rain anyway at some point in time it was loaded up it was loaded up with hay we got an inch of rain and the goats never missed a beat because the hay was suspended and it was able to have air around it and it dried right back out it's just like a round bell hay you know it dried right back out and they kept on eating it no no problem whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, this is where we're at. I'm going to get back here. I wish I had my son's drone out here to get a good aerial picture of it. But you can kind of see, you can see where the feeders have been and where they're not. Now I'm going to go right down the center. That's what I'm doing now. Getting loaded up, go right down the center. And I'm gonna have a good coverage on this little hillside here of a seed bank, hopefully. If nothing else, there's gonna, there's gonna be a good bit of organic material added to this uh, pretty wore out ground. And like I said, you know, it just it's just not feasible for me to get a big round bale, roll it out, because it would get wasted in. Got a lot of, uh, of uh, crap weeds and stuff in here there's a lot of uh broom straw broom sedge as they call it and uh that is a uh ph issue and i'm gonna have to put some uh uh lime down and that's what i'm gonna do uh not today but i'm gonna treat this area up here on my beehives with a good bit of lime See if I can't knock this broom straw down because there's still some grass in here. There's still some fescue grass. There's not a lot, but there's a little, there's a little bit. So I think if I can knock it, that broom straw down where the fescue can thrive, uh, we'll be doing better this time next year. So anyhow, that's what it's looking like right at the moment. I know y'all find this so interesting. Hey, if you do, give me a like, a thumbs up type deal. So, I put a half bell there. Now, I have found that if you load it in there, kind of cattywampus with the points going up, works pretty good that way. And of course, then I put another half bell down here. And then tomorrow morning, I'll come down here with my pitchfork, scoop in scoop up what they put on the ground, just throw it back, right back in there. It's the Jedi mind trick. They don't know that they've already picked through that hay and for whatever reason dropped it. And uh, they end up eating it anyway. Well, Blue has developed a antifreeze leak. And I can't, I can't figure out where it's leaking from. I thought it was this bottom hose right here. And I tightened it up. 
and I haven't seen any evidence there, but I'm still getting some residual markings on the ground up here in my, bar, my tractor barn. So I wonder if it's just, you know, stuff, but because looking at the radiator, it's not leaking much. So I've tried to cover the drip marks up with dirt and I'm thinking maybe it's just bleeding through the dirt. So I'm gonna put that piece of plywood down there. Somebody's over shooting a gun, y'all hear that? A uh, piece of plywood. This time tomorrow, I don't know if we're still leaking. And it doesn't leak while it's running. It's only after it sits. So I'll have more information on this, I feel quite certain, in a soon-to-be-released video. Okay, 24-hour update on Old Blue. And uh, the leak. Look at this crap. Of all nights for it to rain, when I'm trying to do a leak test on my tractor. Now this is an old barn, folks. And so, you know, it's got a leak or two in it. This is water right here. So, <laughs> not a good day to try my leak test, but I'm thinking the leak is fixed. I don't think that's from antifreeze. So, there's an update on that. Now, yep, there he goes. He heard me say now. Oh, man, to my viewers that have Purple Martins, I saw on the Purple, Mart Purple Martin website, the first scouts, I think it was Palm City, Florida, the 27th of December, first scouts was found down there, or, or observed. So uh, I've got to get mine down and get them cleaned out. Uh, I have failed to clean my gourds out the last two years and I've got to get them cleaned out this year. And plus that pole's leaning a little bit and that pole, where's that pole at? Where is that pole at? I can't, oh, there it is right there. I'm blind, I got my sunglasses on. And that pole's leaning a good bit too. So I got to get that straightened up. So uh, that's where we're at with the Purple Martins. So I expect my Martins here mid to late February. So I've got roughly a month to procrastinate and put it off. <laughs> you know, how a typical man does things. But yeah, so uh, I'm swinging around here. All right, I had the goats locked up in the other pasture while I was uh, putting hay out. And, of course, they've already found it. That's not a big deal. But yeah, super pleased with how those IBC tote hay feeders are working. Super, super stoked. I mean, stoked, man. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. It's late on Sunday evening, like, uh, you know, 7 o'clock. And so my videos about my weekend chores, this is my weekend chores. So I hope you found it interesting. I hope that uh, my little uh, segments about reseeding using goat hay is uh beneficial to you you can do it on small scale you don't have to have a hundred thousand acre farm to reseed it so um i hope you like this if you did give me a thumbs up like and uh, i'm always up for more subscribers me and uh, cooper and bella uh, we like to have subscribers so it's jeff eubanks thank you very much